um, I mean, you know how these things happen, you know? I mean, uh, um, and there's, there's one person I respect a lot who, when everybody refused, because they kept giving me scripts and I was rejecting and I wasn't working, I'm like, okay, no problem. And then um, one person who believed in me a lot and threw a lot of challenges with me with regards to characterization, Tichi Di Chikere, yeah. he's a writer yeah. also it's and great. a director. So he kept throwing different things at me and that was when I was able to break that artistic jinx so to speak in Nollywood because at a point in time I think I was one of those people who vividly also broke the chain of the belief of 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 of, of the will I say directors then or producers then that a light-skinned person cannot play a poor man's role or a light-skinned yes. person cannot be oh, an epic yes. uh, you know yes. like you know, being an, I broke all of that I think mm -hmm. I was one of those. Let me not give you, blow myself that trumpet, but I think I was one of those who broke that. And and today it is happening, you know. Um, um, it's affected a lot of actors, you know. I, I will call one of my very good friends, um, uh, uh, um, Chema Chukuka, who for a long mm -hmm. time has played the good girl role and all of that. Yeah. People basically look at her in that light. But there's so much to that woman, so much. I watched the stage play where she was really nasty and everybody, everybody gave a standing, that's every, beyond a standing ovation. But I knew she had it, you know? So it's, the stereotypes has always been a problem in Nollywood, but I, 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 I really told myself, no, I'm going to do something else. So today, um, people know me, okay, I, different characters are thrown at me. I've been able to be the funny guy. I've been able the to funny be guy, everything, the funny guy, the poor guy, you know? the village yeah, guy, yeah, rich guy, yeah. you know, because it's so easy to get typecasted in this film industry and the reason yes. why i had asked that is because i wanted to know if you were directly going for those kind of roles or if that is what was being offered to you you know i remember the first time i saw you my, my brother is a huge fan of yours by the way <laughs> he's a huge fan of yours and of your work um but the first time that i saw you i was like who is this <laughs> coming in here hot 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 okay all right, yeah. because before you, there were not too many other people that did that whole role, that bad boy role as well. There were some, but not everyone could do it and maintain it. And so I just kept on seeing, okay, these are the type of roles who get that type of roles he's getting. But as you said, there was a time where, and I also watched in some of your interviews that you intentionally made that decision to step yeah. out of that yeah. character. Because you know, a lot of times, uh, we have some aspiring talent or those who are already Nollywood actors who believe that this is the only way, this is the only thing I can do. And they don't see anything else past mm. that. But mm. I want to know, what ways did you educate yourself to learn about playing these other different roles? Because um, I've seen you in a lot of comedy. I've seen you in a lot of more rural type films also. I've seen you in the urban films. So how were you educating yourself? How were you learning about how to diversify into these different roles? First of all, I'll say, by the grace of God, talent, number one. Okay. Number two, research. Um, if I get a role now to play, I look for a series of movies that look like that. I want to see what my colleagues have done. Mm. in the light i asked what have they done so i need to be different you know even though my yeah. my style if i'm allowed to blow a little trumpet my style of acting is i try as much as possible to to make the viewer forget he or she is watching a movie you know i try to make it as natural as possible i try to get your emotions into what i'm doing and that way i feel i'm winning so if i if i play a bad guy role and you see me as a bad guy I, I, I laugh because yeah, I feel feel like okay, that 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 that. I mean, I think I, I did something good, uh, but beyond that, I have a great teacher, you know. Also, um, that I still, you know, have with me. Every so time. you have a mentor. And that, you have a mentor that you um, actually seek advice from and coaches you. Well, I criticize. I, I the, the mentor doesn't even talk actually, but the mentor speaks, if I'm going to speak rhetorically, and that mentor is my biggest critic, and that person, or that thing, is my mirror, okay? 
my mirror is I have big <laughs> I have a mirror everywhere I go and before I, I knew how to jump out of me and see myself there you know and you know I've been able to build a very very strong like I said there's a skill to this thing uh, I've been able to build a very strong mentality when it comes to characterization and communication with my mirror because that's my biggest teacher all the time and of course I know how to you know like I said it's an art I know how to get lost from here and get into somewhere and, and, and play a character even without, without even talking about it. So, like I said, it's a skill I've been able to learn research and, um, you know, some education as well. I've been able to gain over time. Hmm. I really like that. Um, in one of your past interviews, you made a comment. You said that um, Nollywood was born out of private investment and belief right yeah um a, yeah. a lot of times we have our brothers and sisters from nigeria who are so easy to criticize um a nollywood film and compare yeah. it ah see what they're doing here compared to what they're doing in hollywood mm -hmm. or compared to what they're doing over there this this and this you know i will be honest with you when i say that i am one of the few people like i can count on my hand that i know that actually watches nollywood film because i actually believe in it and I believe in what is going on and the transition from what we used to do in the past to where we are now and where we are going to go to. A lot of people are against it. They don't want to watch it. They don't even encourage their friends or kids to look into it. So I want to know from you, what do you think right now that um, Nollywood is doing that is going to put away these naysayers necessarily or how can I say, what do you think as an actor yourself you can contribute to this Nollywood film industry um, that will shift that away? Or what have you contributed? What can you advise right now for the people who are making these comments, who are saying these things? Uh, what can you say to that? What, what, what would your take be on that? Well, um, what I'll say is, okay, Everybody has his own direction of uh, criticism. And of course, mm -hmm. it's very open. I'm very open to it. I've also criticized within my own whips and crafts, which is, uh, you know, Nollywood as it were. And I believe that there's always room for improvement. But it's very unfair to compare us with Hollywood, you know, that has uh, the total wherewithal, that has a huge, when it comes to budget, the, I mean, when it, I mean they're, they're far ahead of us. However, what has to Nollywood has always been the ingenuity, the way we have been able to tell our stories, the way we've been able with the little way with all the little technical know-how, we've been able to, you know, let people know who we are. We've been able to educate a lot of ignorance at the same time, urban-wise, as it were, to let people know that, look, we still have good looking people in Africa. We don't live on, on we don't live on trees. We don't, we, we, we have good cars. We have our culture as well. And we also believe one thing about Nollywood that has stood us out of, for which a lot of Caribbean people I know have been able to also see Nollywood as a window for which Africa is, was, and probably would be is how we've been able to teach that bad is bad. You know, you cannot be bad and get away with it. We've not, I mean, that's one thing we've been able to do. Now, as a practitioner in this industry, of course, one hears the criticism and of course, you, you, I mean, you want to um, change the narrative too. So I want to say, I think I'm part of the League of People as a movie uh, actor and also producer and director as well. I've been able to, you know, try as much as possible, gain experience, um, um, those little things that we've not been paying a lot of cognizance to uh, respect to, um, like sound, um, technical know-how, you know, those, those basic things, you know, pictures. I, I, I think I, in my own way, I'm part of the league of people who have also contributed to making this narrative um, changed, as it were. Also, um, I, I want to say that you know, I'm also a believer. I, I'm also a critic of um, us losing who we are. Because, Authentic. yeah, mm -hmm. our identity. Because if you look at 
there is a new wave of, of in quotes, movies coming out. And yes. maybe for adventure also forced down the throats of some producers by whoever's belief there who's responsible for churning out these movies to the populace that takes away who we are, our culture, our, our ingenuity. Because the truth of the matter is that we cannot always... I, I like what is true to life about us, you know? I like... I like we, we, we're kind of losing our identity. I'm not talking about... Um, because if you notice for adventure, you might notice that even films about your culture, where you come from, don't even go on the big screens. They don't. It's they the don't. ones that are more yes. quote unquote American. Of course, that yes. are it's the ones yeah. you see me, yeah, in the urban yeah. areas. Lagos is not who we are. It's not who we are. Okay? It's not who we are. And I, like I said, it's it's fine tuning I was born here. I, I'm a Lagosian. I'm a pure Lagosian. Trust me, even though I'm from Abia State, I speak Yoruba perfectly and all of that. But we as a people, we are losing our 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 identity. We are losing our brand equity as it were. But at the same time, there are some people who are polishing our image, not totally showing you that uh uh uh, uh voodoo is the way of life. Because I know that's yes. one thing we've been so criticized about. But, you know, in, if you're allowed to tweak it. Like, for me, what is so funny is there'll mm. be, like, our own people are criticizing us for stuff like voodoo. But then you can watch Harry Potter. You can watch you Harry know? Potter. You can and watch Superman fly. Okay. You can watch Batman. And, and, because the person is, is white. Like, you can watch Batman. You know? I'm just like, are you kidding me? I mean, I, why can't our masquerade, why can't Sean go? Be, be, be challenge Superman. Why can't he be a superhero? Thank you. Thank you. I will celebrate Thank it the you. day Marvel takes Shango and makes him a superhero too. Thank you. Because it just surprises me, you know, how that yeah. is. And you know, even trying to, I, I couldn't even get out the full question because I'm just so passionate yeah. about it because yeah. it surprises me how, um, who is it? I have on here um, RMD. He said comparing Nollywood to Hollywood is like comparing heart surgery with fork and knife and then comparing yes. it with what they have here yes. in America. When everyone knows there's more advancements here and we are doing our best to at least produce these films to the point that we are one of the top three in the world. And it's you know? privately driven. It's mostly privately Private. driven. Private. Private. Because Movie making is an expensive yes. medium. So you got to understand that. It's, it's privately driven so you can do things within the circuit of what you have. Yes. Yes. You know, I just wanted to get your own point of view on that and just see yes. what direction you are heading towards. Um, as you mentioned, I do know you are into producing, you're into um, directing. You had um, talked about a series, Unlocked, on one of your interviews, yeah. Unlocked. Uh, and so yeah. can you tell us a bit about that and what to expect from that? Wow. When I talk about unlocked, I get. I mean, I, 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 it's a prison wow. series, right? It, it's, it's it's a prison series. Uh, I'm one person very open to challenges. I like to challenge myself. When I was about starting it, a lot of people, even my colleague, said, "Mike, are you crazy? No, why? How? How can you pull this off?" And I said, "I'm going to do it." You know, um, I even had a partner at the time who wanted to come in, and the person. Lost thing. I was like, you know what? Psst, I'm doing it on my own, you know. And I went and wait. It's fully done. Like, like yes, the... yes, self-sponsored. Oh, I did first. Yes, all of that. yes, yes. The from I'm somebody I know how to plan. Okay, from from okay. the equipment, everything because we use top of the range equipment, everything self-sponsored nobody can beat his chest and say oh no i helped him out on this i mean i had a cast of over over 380 people i shot in in london in lagos in enugu it's the first prison series i dare say i had i had i mean like it's something different and of course when it comes 
comes to um um I don't want to blow it out, but of course it's gonna come on you know Netflix and some of these other places. I think let me be judged by whatever I see, but I, I'm 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 quite fulfilled also that I was able, like I do in every of my films, raise a lot of stars there as well. We had lots of stars in it, but I was able to, you know, because I'm a, I'm a critic of people auditioning to show off, you know. Mm. I mean, I I I I, I don't like you auditioning. Even though there are no small roles, they're only small actors, you know. But then, I, I I auditioned online, offline, and I was able to get. I mean, for example, the person who played my lead character till today has only done Unlocked. The person is graduating from the university this year. Opportunities, you know. Opportunities. Yeah. yeah. So and he blew me out. You know, I'm one person hard to convince artistically. He blew me mm. away. So. I'm I'm very happy about it. It's a prison series, um, and of course it's Pan African as well because I had different actors come in from different countries. Uh, I had actors from Ghana, Botswana, uh, Liberia, uh, Congo, uh, Namibia, South Africa. And that's uh, wonderful. That yeah. Incorporating all these different nationalities because yeah, that's something yeah. I know we have been criticized for before. Yeah. Focusing on Nigerians or like Nigerians and Ghanaians and no one else. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I love the yeah. fact that you considered yeah. that. And I'm just so happy to hear about this project. You know, I feel like we're going to see you in a way we haven't before, Elsewhere. where you're uh, combining yeah. all yeah. your experience yeah. and talent yeah. with you know, yeah. wonderful, wonderful um, people. So thank, thank you, you so much. I'm looking thank forward you. to that. Make sure you let us know. You give us, like, don't you, worry. You it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the COVID that slowed things a little bit down. You know, it's supposed to have been out by now, but of course, we're we're working in progress right now. We're we're taking the right boxes, and uh, myself and my team were were negotiating with the right uh, 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 um, uh, pedestrians to 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 showcase it to the people. Wonderful. Just keep Nevada informed, though. Thank you. Of course, always. always, always, um, always. I would also like to know. Um, being a man in Nollywood, uh, being yeah. a top actor in Nollywood, what yeah. do you think encourages longe longevity for male actors? Because uh, I know you definitely took a break and you came back stronger. So I want to know what keeps a male actor relevant on the scene? That's a very good question. I don't think I've been asked that question before. Um, I've never been. Um, for me, I think I know when to understand. I, I've taken what I call a, a helicopter view of Nollywood. I understand it like, a, I understand it. I, I, I understand if it's politics being played, if it's, if it's where the viewership goes, if it's the, if it's the genre that is uh, in, 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 uh, um, accepted at the time, I understand it, you know? Now, as a man in Nollywood, it, for me, it's about, of course, your work, pitching your tents right, pitching your tents right. When I mean pitching your tents right, um, if you understand that, okay, uh, this is what the people want. This is where the viewership is going. Try and find yourself in that space mm. so you stay relevant. Mm. Don't always mm. be too dogged because there are a lot of people who have fallen by the side, even in the arts and music and all of that. You, you, this is what is going on right now. Okay, but take a, a lot of you and your beliefs and then pitch your tents there. You understand me? I'm not going to discuss, you know, uh, 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 um, what it is, but that it's, you just have to understand it. You know, you have to understand because like I always say, there are people who look at Nollywood from only, actors, sorry, who look at Nollywood only from their art. Mm. They don't put their ear to, when they finish working, that's wow. it, they're done. They don't mm -hmm. care about it. They don't yeah. even watch. Yeah. They don't even watch. I will tell yeah. you for free. There's some people who don't even watch. No, they, they don't watch their work again. 
they are not concerned that. about I'm what listening. is going on outside there. Yes. You understand me? You understand? What are people thinking about your art? What are people saying about you? You know? Um, that is why it was easier when we had the video clubs then. You could always know what people want to watch. You could always mm -hmm. know, okay, so when you have scripts, you know where to pitch your tent. Again, it's yeah. about what kind of brand are you? How are you perceived? How, what are you selling? What, who are you? You know? It's good to be also, for me, it's good to be out there, but also in one little way, don't lose your mystique. That your artistic mystique, don't take it away. Don't, don't lose it, you know? And yeah. of course, you just have to understand when to strike and when to go away. I took a break. Yes, I did. At the time, I had lots of scripts, but of course, I wanted to learn more about the camera. I wanted to learn more. But I took a break because there was something going on in Nollywood at the time. And I said, no, I'm not going to be part of this. Even though I did one movie then with Iniedo when they did it. And I even signed a contract. I'm coming to it. I even signed a contract then. Like, I saw a few, the future. I said, this thing must not go to any musician. I don't want to be, see my face on any musician's uh, 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 video. And that was the time Nollywood especially within the, the East then, they were singing. There was, a, there was a time when actors were singing. Yes, I didn't yes. Like I didn't yes, like, I yes. said, I'm not going to be part of, I, said, I told them I'm not going to be part of this, no. And I had a problem with a lot of executive producers. I said, you know what, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it because this thing can be taken to some gospel musician. And I, I started seeing it. A gospel musician would now come and sing, and then you're at the background and all that, and it makes it ridiculous of who you are. I was like, no, I'm not going to be part of this. Yes. Yeah, and I said, you know what, here are your scripts. Here, I'm, not, I'm done. I'm not doing this with you guys. You know, and I, you know, I left. You know, but thank God they've seen it. People, that's not what people want to see anymore. It was a trial. So things are changing now. And, of course, they are now borrowing from what is going on, you know, with the, will I say, I don't want to say the other side. I don't want, I don't like saying new Nollywood. I like say improving Nollywood. They're seeing it. And, of course, there are people I'm proud to say who are still, you know, in, that, uh, in the East who now want to, you know, say, okay, fine, we want to be part of this thing you're doing. Uh, please come and teach us. Let us know. Let us let us uh, 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 do better. Let us serve our viewership better. Let's serve yeah, our, like our fans. Yeah. yeah. So That's right now, yeah. yeah, of course. So there's going to be a change. People are going to see from maybe from August. There is a third coming up now, but like they're going to see a change because there are some people who are now who know better and are going back there to improve things as it were. Thanks. Wonderful. Um, also, I would um, just like to know from you, being a male in Nollywood, um, a lot of times we um, hear from the female side a lot more than the male side about sexual co um, coercion, sexual coercion mm. yeah. uh, within the Hollywood film mm. industry. And yeah. it's been a very sensitive climate worldwide in relation to that particular topic. So okay. I would like to know, have you ever had that kind of situation or ever been in an instance where a female producer or director or director made an inappropriate comment or did something to you um, that you didn't quite care for and made you feel uncomfortable? Uh, never. It's never, no. it's never, it's never happened okay. to me. I mean, shout out to one of the people who, 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 who believed in me when, I, when nobody knew me, um, MME Song. She also saw me in the studio. <laughs> Um, while somebody was editing another film about the same time um, the executive producer saw me and she said no so nothing like that has it's never happened to me I'm not just going to lie about okay. that but it's, it's a shame you know I, I, you know, to those who do it it's, it's, it's absolute nonsense absolute okay nonsense. thank you for sharing um, I know that uh, our time is coming to an end shortly, but I definitely would like to get one more question in there in regards okay. to branding, because um, you, um, you had mentioned that a bit not too long ago. Um, I want to know, in regards to PR, 
for uh, Nollywood actors. I want to know if you think it's of necessary importance because a lot of times what I see on social media from various actors really has nothing to do with their acting. Okay, um, mm. they post certain videos that are just really ri ridiculous or unnecessary a lot of times, or they or post things like, or photo shoots. like mm -hmm, yeah, uh, or you know, yeah. they just post it, you know, and I'll just come on the page and I'll be like, uh uh, okay, of course, it is whoever it is, it is the personal page, it is your personal page, it is your personal thing, but mm -hmm. I just feel that you know if these pages or if when you're going out and setting engagements that you are holding if it is tied to the craft that you are focusing on i just personally think it's going to put you in a better pathway in regards to what it is that you're doing and i've noticed that a lot of actors they don't really focus on that so i just wanted to know if you think that's actually of importance and if you actually have invested in pr as an actor well, I have, and everything is strategic, you know, and sometimes, um, this is going to, sometimes people don't understand. Um, if you every time, if you every time talk about, you have to keep your page engaging. That's number one. You got to mm -hmm. keep your page engaging. Um, and um, at the same time, you have to always let people know what you're working on at the time, mm -hmm. you know, as well. I'm also guilty of it, but it's a strategy sometimes, you know, just keep people engaging, you know, post different videos. Sometimes I post funny videos. I do all of that. But once you get people in, you deliver the message you want to deliver at the time. Oh, you know, I haven't heard that. You, I haven't yeah. Heard that yeah. Hmm. So, and of course, also, it's, it's also... It's a reflection of who you are. You understand me? Um, over time, one has been able to understand, like, for example, it took a lot of time for people to understand I'm a very playful person. It took but a lot of time. Oh, yes. I'll be honest with you. I'm one of those. I really thought, yeah. like, honestly, that you had a nasty character. You couldn't tell me nothing about Mike and Jeronia. Because, so you you know because of what you saw in <laughs> movies. God. Not like you've met me before. Yeah, I, I meet a lot of people who, they're like, oh, but, you know, maybe for adventure, they meet somebody who knows me, or maybe they see me somewhere cracked because I'm a cracker. I mean, trust me, cracking jokes, or maybe they come on my page sometimes and be like, uh-uh. So Mike is like this. I've had it. I've had deals out of things like that as well. Business deals like, oh, we couldn't approach you before because we felt like maybe you wouldn't even pick our call or whatsoever. Wow. Wow. Thank you. And then, okay, now happens. And that business deal that concerns my craft now comes in. So, Did you have a PR at that time? Did you have someone focused in public relations for you at that time? No, no, not at that time. Okay. No, not okay. at that time. But it's also, wow. it's, so it's also been part of our strategy. Yes, yeah, it's also wow. been part of our strategy as it were. You know, um, there's a lot of positioning being done. You know, I'm not going to let out everything I'm doing right now, but I just let out one little <laughs> bit. So sometimes it is what, it's intentional what the actors do, but people might not understand. When they get to you, then you, you just notice all of a sudden, oh, you're advertising this. Oh, this is my work. I'm at the cinemas. I'm at this. Then we know we have your ears every day because we know that you're waking up and you're coming to our page. Okay, okay, so it's a strategy sometimes. Even though I criticize some people because if you have work, if, you, if you're working on something, of course, you have to be serious about it. Let people know what you're doing. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, showcase yourself not only as a beautiful girl or a handsome guy or where you travel to. And no, 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 no. You have to also let people know this is what I'm doing. That portfolio as a actor or producer yeah. or whatsoever has to come in play. Hmm. Wonderful. I think that sums it up for us here today because our time is about to come to an end, unfortunately. But um, I am so, so happy that you were able to join us here today and educate us all. Um, before we head off, um, I always give, you're, you're definitely very welcome, I always give um, a homework question to our viewers and it just shows what they picked up from the session and what they learned and they get to also express themselves. So to okay. everyone watching us, 
Uh, if you guys are interested in being a part of the giveaway sponsored by Nevada Bridge TV, it will be for 30,000 Naira. Make sure you guys go under the post on Nevada Bridge TV. Okay, it's a post of myself and Mike Israelia for uh, yes! today's session. So uh, <laughs> make sure you guys head on over there and let me know what makes you stand out from the rest of the crowd. I feel like today Mike has definitely um, spoken very confidently about his craft and he's able to analyze what separates him from everybody else, what makes him stand out, what makes him one of the top in the business. So go under that post of myself and Mike Ezronia. Let me know what makes you stand out, what makes you different, what makes you great. Put that down below under uh, the comment section. Tag Nevada Bridge TV, tag Mike Ezronia, tag myself at NK Obiako. Mike at Mike Ezu, and we are looking forward to reading these comments and learning more about you guys. It has been an absolute pleasure to be here today. Thank you once again, Mike. And if I you have a good to... monologue, talk to me. Okay, send it to my DM. If you have a good monologue, let me know. Let me know. There's something coming up. You know, the lots of productions coming up. Uh, we signed a little contract somewhere, so there's lots of productions coming up. So yeah, I'm looking for new energy. See. Okay. It doesn't matter where you are. You never can tell. There might be an airline deal bringing you from wherever you are. So please, hey, I just let that out on Nevada Bridge right now. So thank you send so me much. Some. This can only happen yes. here on Nollywood with NK on Nevada Bridge TV, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs>